Good day everyone! Today we will be discussing the simple annuity. So these are the terms that you are going to encounter. We have the frequency conversion. So if you will encounter annually, we are going to use one. Quarterly means four. Semi-annually, two. And monthly is equal to 12. So those are our uh, frequency conversions. And we have the following formulas. For the future volume, we have F is equal to R. R here stands for the regular payment. Open bracket. So we have quantity 1 plus R. R is our rate over K. K is our frequency conversion raised to K times T. Frequent Frequency conversion times our time. Minus 1 all over R over K. And formula for the present value. Present value. We're going to use P is equal to R, the regular payment. Open bracket. 1 minus quantity 1 plus R over K raised to negative kt all over r over k and we have the periodic rate of annuity we have two formulas if the future value is for is given so we're going to use this formula so take note that it's just derived from our formula future value so if we're looking for r then derive the formula we will come up to this one and if the present value is given so we're going to use this formula, then derive or solve or solve for R. Okay, then you will come up with this formula. We're going to have word problems that in that word problems we're going to use the different formulas. And of course, in this lesson, you need to have your calculator. Now we're going to apply the following formulas to solve some problems. Let's have our problem number one. Mr. Ramos would like to save 3,000 pesos every month in a fund that gives 9% compounded monthly. How much is the amount of the future value of his savings after 6 months? So first step, write all the given. Given, we have 3,000 pesos, that would be our R, so 3,000 pesos. Next, we have 9% compounded monthly, that is our rate. So 9% in decimal, that is 0.09. Our time, our time is 6 months. 6 months, that is 1 half year or 0 0.5. And our K our frequency of conversion monthly monthly is 12 now our unknown is the future value okay. unknown or we're going to find the future value or the F. Okay. Since we already know the formula and we're going to find the future value, of course, we're going to use this one. So we have F, copy the formula, R, we have 1 plus R over K raised to kt minus 1 all over r over k then close okay. 
Now, after copying the formula, we need to substitute our given. So, F is equal to R is 3,000. Open bracket. So, we have 1 plus our R is 0 0.09 all over K is 12 raised to KT K is 12 times T is 0 0.5 0 0.5 or 1 half you can use 1 half or 0 0.5 minus 1 all over our R is 0 0.09 all over K is 12. Okay. Now, after substituting all the given, just insert the value in your calculator. So how are you going to insert the following in your calculator? Okay, if you don't have calculator, you can download this application in your mobile phone. The N Calci Scientific Calculator. And after downloading, of course, open, open the app, then insert the given. So in our board, as you can see, we are done substituting our formula to the given so let us now insert in our calculator so we have 3000 then since we don't have bracket here use the parentheses open parentheses then we have the function Then insert in our numerator, open parenthesis, we have 1 plus, again, the function, the fr fraction, the fraction. Now we have 0 0.09 over 12. close raise to so press the x raised to y we have 12 times 0 0.5 so open parenthesis 12 close 0 0.5 then close now in our formula we need to subtract 1 then go in our denominator again press the a over b so we have 0 0.09 over 12, then close. Then that will give you the answer. We have 18,340.89. Now after inserting the given in our calculator, we have 18,340.89. Of course, don't forget your unit. We have peso. Again, if you don't have calculator, you can install it in your mobile phone. Now let's proceed in problem number two. Now let us proceed in our problem number two. Siren works very hard because she wants to have enough money in her retirement account when she reaches the age of 60. She wants to withdraw 36,000 pesos every 3 months for 20 years, starting 3 months after she retired. How much must Siren deposit at retirement at 12% per year compounded quarterly for the annuity. 
So first step, analyze the problem and write all the given. So we have our given. We have our time which is 20 years. Our R is 36,000 pesos. Our rate is 12% in decimal, that is 0 0.12. And our K, our frequency of conversion, we have compounded quarterly. Quarterly, we will use 4. And the unknown is, how much must Siren deposit at retirement? So we are looking for P, the present value. Okay. Now, since we already know all the given and the formula that we need to use, we have this one, we are now ready to substitute our given. So I am not going to write the formula. We're just going to substitute it immediately. So P is equal to our R is 36,000. Now we have 1 minus 1 plus R. 0 0.12 over k that is 4 raised to negative k 4 times t is 20 over r 0 0.12 over k is 4 Now, we are ready to insert this in your calculator. Now, get your calculator or your mobile phone if you, if you have the application in your gadget. Okay, let us now solve or insert the given in our calculator. So, we have 36,000. open parenthesis then the fraction bar blur okay and now let us insert the given so we have 36,000 parenthesis then the A over B in our numerator, we have 1 minus, open parenthesis, 1 plus, again, A over B, 0 0.12 over 4, then close, raised to, so Y raised to, uh, X raised to Y, then we have negative 4 times 20, close, and let us proceed in our denominator. Again, press A over B, 0 0.12 over 4. Okay. Then, close. Hmm? Then, close. Okay, so we have the volume 1,087,227.48 pesos. Now let us write our final answer. That is 1,087,227.48 pesos. Don't forget the unit. So this is the present value.
let's now proceed to example number three using any of these formulas.